Welcome to the Daily Review. This is Fed Zach, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today is November 14, 2023, and today is Tuesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, the market's really taking a pause and wavering just for the moment. At least for now, we're past our earning room season. We're also past our FOMC rate statement. So the market's just taking a pause right now. But first, looking at today's major economic events, at 3.30 South African time out of the United States, we have a core price index number coming out. That's an inflationary report. And that might move the markets in either direction. Just remember, this is the number that the Fed looks at to see how to gauge interest rates. One of them, at least, one of the major factors. Now, looking at the market, starting out with the Forex symbols, the major pair is really remaining unchanged, and so are the indices. Both the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq remains unchanged. When we look at the commodities, gold and oil bounce, while looking at stocks, Tesla was the only one that really bounced yesterday. And lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, also Bitcoin unchanged. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go, first with the Euro USD, just because we cover it almost every single day, and it does develop sometimes into a really great trade. So we had this major sell off for the Euro USD from 112 down to 105 ish level. We bounced off of it, okay, um, and we broke that downwards momentum. That's where we are. And then we spiked up even higher, up to 107.30 ish level, which was a decent move on the upside. Now, we did retrace, and this was really an important level, 106.66, and we did bounce off of it, about 50 pips. Now, this is the telling sign. Whether or not this retracement was just a move just to pull back, just to see if we can break out even higher from 107.33, or is it going to break lower? Now, what I suggest really is that you look to the GBP, you look at some of the other major pairs versus the US dollar to see which way it's going. And when we look at the Japanese yen, it's on its lows, but that doesn't always reflect for the other currencies. So you have to look at the GBP USD to see how that is actually re affected today. Now, today we do have that CPI number coming out, so it could affect the euro, and we may see a breakout on it. So keep that in mind. G GBP USD also finally got that bounce, and it's at that 50% mark, so keep that in mind as well. Now, jumping into the Japanese yen, just as a reflection to it, we did make new lows at 151.90 ish level. However, we didn't sustain it, we sold off, but we're hovering around this major lows versus the dollar, the Japanese yen being at a low versus the dollar. So keep that in mind, okay? This doesn't take much for it to break out to maybe 155 and maybe even 160 if it does break out with some momentum. Now jumping into commodities, gold got a bounce yesterday from 1935 up to 1950 ish level and holding on to it, okay? Not a big deal, but it stopped that downwards momentum as we've seen it retrace from 2000 down to 1935. Now that it has broken. Now looking at crude oil also got that bounce, about a $2 bounce, not bad, okay? But don't like to pick bottoms, but it's still in downwards momentum for all intents and purposes. So keep an eye on it to see if it's a dead cap bounce, to see if it's gonna bounce and then sell off later on. That's what a dead cap bounce is. Now looking at the US markets, wavering, not doing much, a little bit of an extension for the Dow Jones, but nothing really su uh, sustaining. Also for the NASDAQ, if we look at the individual stocks, kind of like sideways, Apple, just a couple of bucks lower. If you look at Microsoft, on its highs, but did retrace also a couple of points. But looking at Tesla, it looks like it wants to gain. Look at that, okay? The last couple of days from 210 to 223. Now it's on that resistance-ish level. Let's see if it does break that 226. And if it does, we could see a recovery, okay? Which means that there is a recovery in this moving forward six months from now. So keep that in mind as well. Now lastly, looking at Bitcoin, not doing much, okay? Hanging out here at 36,600. We did hit 37,000 yesterday. Didn't hold it, so we retraced about 500 bucks. Not a big deal, but remember, this can move in crazy amount any given day, so keep an eye on it, okay? It's mostly market action kind of activity. So looking at today, CPI number coming out, so that could affect the Dow Jones, the US markets, and ostensibly that'll affect the Euro USD as well, so keep that in mind as well. Thank you for joining us for the daily review. We'll see you here tomorrow.